when you dry these grapes, they are still kind of breathing. But in a which way? In a kind of <laughs> because they are they were detached from the vines from the tree, right? Whenever you have these kind of stress and you are dried, what's happening? The grape will produce lots of stuff within it, especially in the skin, to survive better. That is why lots of people say, "Hey, oh, the romantic." version saying, oh, in order to produce the best wines, you need to stress the grapes a little bit. Why is that? Because plant, they cannot move. They cannot say, oh, there's a stress over here. Let's run to the other region. <laughs> okay, champagne sucks. Let's move to South France. Okay, <laughs> they cannot do that. So they have to produce more stuff to fight against the harsh conditions in the ambient environment. In this condition, they, they are even detached from the vines, meaning they are at the last stage of survival. They produce lots of stuff. And that is why I dislike, last time I said, like what certain textbook says, okay, <laughs> they say they will dry the grapes and they concentrate the sugar, meaning high alcohol, and they concentrate the acid and everything. I, I tell you, it's not only that. They also produce tons of other stuff, like certain aroma compounds, certain aldehydes, certain ketones, you don't have to know them, and also lots of glycerol. And remember what I just said about Gewürztraminer, the white variety, they tend to produce more glycerol, right? This grape, if you dry them, the process already produces lots of gly glycerol. And that is why you can have an even fuller, richer, mouthfeel, not only due to that high alcohol. There's something else in it to balance it, to make it more complex. So you're having lots of complexity on the palate. 